Hi guys, today we are here to chat about some of my favorite products from the drugstore that are great for acne and acne prone skin. So I'm going to be chatting about cleansers, masks, exfoliators, all kinds of different products from different brands. And if you have missed any of my previous series, because I'm not able to cover everything, I've talked about my favorite toners, serums, cleansers, masks, moisturizers, SPS, all kinds of things like that. So I will have that all linked down below. And I always do these types of videos, so be sure to subscribe if you enjoy them and I do not have a makeup tutorial for this specific look but I did do something very similar with the same eyeshadow palette so I will link that down below along with every other product that is on my face but let's go ahead and get started. So firstly, let's start off with cleansing the skin, and you're going to want to actually remove your makeup first, especially if your cleanser has active ingredients in there like salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide. You want to make sure that's actually getting on your skin. So I will leave my favorite makeup removers down below, but once you've removed your makeup, then you're going to want to go in with a cleanser. So I've got a few different options. One of my favorites is from CeraVe. This is obviously very well loved. This is their SA cleanser, and it has salicylic acid in there, and that is also known as a BHA, which is really, for me anyways, a really great ingredient for acne prone and oily skin. So this is a gentle cleansing uh, cleanser that exfoliates but it also helps to maintain your skin's moisture barrier. It's got ceramides in there which are very hydrating on the skin but not heavy. Uh, in addition to that it has no microbeads, it's non-comedogenic and fragrance free. So I really love this. I know some people have had mixed experiences depending on how your skin likes salicylic acid but I really do enjoy this and I think it's a really great kind of easy way to incorporate um, an a salicylic acid acid into your routine. Another great cleanser is from Garnier. This is their bio line, so it is organic. This is their organic lemongrass purifying gel wash. It helps to cleanse away um, impurities and oil. This one I really like because it's a gel, so if you tend to not like things that are heavy on the skin, the texture on this is really nice, super affordable. This one actually also has salicylic acid in here, but it's like a little bit lower down on the list, but I do really, really enjoy that. If you're looking for something that's kind of just like a a straight up cleanser, then this is a great one. Also, gigantic packaging from Neutrogena. This is their daily cleanser. So this is their foaming formula and it is hypoallergenic, paraben free, won't clog pores, soap free and dye free. And I really, really like this because it's kind of just simple. And for me, this is the kind of thing, if I'm going to be using an acid in my routine, say in a serum or a moisturizer or some other kind of treatment, and I don't want to double up on my acids and my kind of more active ingredients, then this is a really great kind of like neutral cleanser. In the morning, I've actually more or less stopped cleansing my skin with a cleanser because I feel like sometimes you can end up over cleansing your skin. So what I've been doing in the morning a lot of the time is using a micellar water. So the one I've been using lately is this one from Garnier. It is the uh, Water Rose Micellar Water. This one is made for normal and sensitive skin, but they've got a bunch of different versions. And I don't really love micellar waters for makeup removal. I prefer an oil or a balm or something like that, but I really love them for like a morning cleanse. I've talked about the Pixi Vitamin C one. That one is one of my favorites. I'll link that down below too. But this is a great option. I love all of the Garnier um, micellar waters. I really love the original, the blue, the green. I've got a yellow. I don't think I've tried the purple, but they're all really great. This one is the newer one that has rose in there. Actually has salicylic acid too towards the, uh, I think it's the last ingredient in here, but uh, this has no parabens, sulfates, alcohol, oil, and it's just a really great option on a cotton pad in the morning. Uh, you don't need to do it every day, but maybe something to consider because if you're overwashing your face, that can actually produce more oils and kind of work against you. Uh, if you do kind of tend to strip your skin, it might be something to consider. I actually don't have either of the serums that I want to recommend to you in front of me, but I did want to mention them just because I think that they're great. Uh, I did talk about these in other videos, but the L'Oreal Hyaluronic Serum along with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost I think are both incredible serums. They both feature uh, hyaluronic acid, which holds a thousand times its weight in water. So when you're using a serum that has hyaluronic acid or anything, you kind of want to make sure your skin is a little bit damp. And this way you're going to get hydration, but it's not going to feel heavy. And I think something that we tend to do when we have acne like I have suffered with acne since literally grade five and I'm now a full full woman I think so <laughs> I'm sick of it and it's really frustrating it's going to depend you know on the type of acne you have right now I have cystic um, more often than not so it can be a little bit harder with things that are topical but hydration is so important especially if you're stripping your skin with harsh ingredients you're gonna kind of put your skin in this panic mode and you really want to add hydration so when it comes to 
things like layering products and whatnot. I'll link another video down below. I can talk about this forever, but you want to go lightest to heaviest in terms of texture. So a serum is a great option to add a little bit of hydration into your routine and the L'Oreal and the Neutrogena are both great options. A serum that I want to talk about that is actually a vitamin C product. I actually don't have a lot of vitamin C products from the drugstore. Most of my favorite vitamin C's are high end and expensive, like beyond high end, like Drunk Elephant, SkinCeuticals, uh, I love the Ula Henriksen, but yeah, I don't have a lot that I love from the drugstore in terms of vitamin C. Vichy makes some great ones, it's kind of middle of the road. But this is the Pixie Skin Treats Vitamin C Serum, it's a brightening concentrate, so this is an antioxidant serum. It has immediate and long-term radiance effects, and it's got vitamin C, ferulic acid, um, and it is proven to reduce the effects of sun damage, free radicals, smoother complexion, etc, etc. I really love a vitamin C serum for the day, is generally uh, when you're kind of advised to use a vitamin C serum. It helps with brightening. It's not necessarily going to help with acne, but I think it helps to overall help with the texture and tone of the skin along with any dark spots that may be left over from acne scarring. So I kind of wanted to include a few options in here. And the other great thing about it is it has a really nice light texture, so it's not going to feel heavy if you're layering up products. I have at least five videos, I think, on moisturizers for oily skin, so I will link those down below along with SPS for oily skin. So I narrowed it down to two that I wanted to point out to you. So the first one is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. This comes in a bunch of different textures. I really love this. This is something that I recommend to just like anybody who asks me for a moisturizer basically who doesn't want anything heavy. I think it's such a great option. The reason I point this one out, although it is for extra dry skin, I find the texture to still be very gel cream-ish. Obviously it's not going to be as light as the one that's made for oily skin. But the reason I point this out is because the extra dry skin one is fragrance free. So if you have issues with fragrance breaking your skin out and you liked the Hydro Boost, but you didn't like the fragrance, I think that this is a really good option. I would love to see them do it across the line. I'm not sure why they didn't, but such a good, such a good moisturizer. The other one I want to mention is for night, and this is the Olay Regenerist Retinol 24. I love this. This is also fragrance free. It has niacinamide in here, which is an incredible ingredient for oily skin if you have large pores, things like that. Um, and it is not irritating. So I really love this because I had really, really bad cystic acne in December. It has now come back. I wish it would just leave me alone, but every time I, I've been using this consistently now for months and my skin is brighter, it is smoother. Did not have irritation, peeling, you can use it every single night. Uh, I have been working with them in a partnership, but I mean, you've seen the results, I believe, and a lot of you have actually purchased it, which is exciting. But I think that this is so good because retinol is one of those like scary ingredients, and this I think takes the scariness out of it. And I especially recommend it because if you do have scarring, texture, uh, unevenness, dullness in your skin due to acne, I think this is a really good option and it's not heavy. I think it's got a great texture and absorbs into the skin really well um, and I also do just want to say when you have acne it's mentally taxing but um, in addition to that I anyways have this habit to panic and like want to just go crazy on my skin but finding a routine and sticking to it is really really important and trying not to like go to extremes when you get breakouts, still make sure you're hydrating, still make sure you're using your products. Uh, I think that's really important too because it can take time for your skin to go through that cycle. I have two masks that I want to mention. One is technically like not drugstore but very much drugstore prices and I really love it so I wanted to mention it anyways. This is the Ordinary Salicylic Acid Mask. I can't remember if this is six or twelve dollars. I'm pretty sure it's like six eighty. You can get it on Sephora through their website in store depending on where you live and I think that this is just such a good mask. I use this all the time. I got a lot of masks and this is almost empty. I think it does such a good job. Even if you don't have oily skin you can use this as like a spot treatment or use this and then follow up with something a little bit more hydrating. I think it is so great. And then the other mask that I want to mention, kind of the competitor <laughs> to uh, The Ordinary, is the Inky List. They are now available in store online at Shoppers Drug Mart. Everything is under $15. I really enjoy their products. They've also got a great hyaluronic acid, but this is their Kale and Clay Mask, which I love using it around you know, that time of the month, pre-makeup to absorb any oil. I think it's a really great option. And again, um, this is quite... Um, quite affordable. I think this ends up around the $10 range and I think it does a good job without leaving my skin feeling stripped. Now the last thing I want to mention, you guys, 
those with oily skin, acne prone skin. <laughs> I was scared of oils for a while, but now I'm an oil convert and I've got some really great options for you. I think adding an oil into your routine, I only do it at night or sometimes during the day if I'm like not leaving the house. Adding an oil into your routine as your last step in night, in the nighttime or mixing it into your nighttime moisturizer is really great. It, it doesn't necessarily hydrate the skin, but it helps to kind of, I, I believe, seal things in. Like moisturizers are the hydrators and then oil is kind of like a protective layer on top of that I believe and that you know depending on the ingredients can have some hydrating effects so I've really been loving products that have cannabis sativa seed oil in them. This is new to me, as you can see. I haven't used it a ton, but this is the e.l.f. All the Feels Facial Oil. They've also got a moisturizer, and I like their um, Hello Hydration Moisturizer, too. They've got a fragrance-free one. I've got to say, they really stepped up their game. This does have jojoba oil in there, but that is actually, it's kind of the, the main oil in here, um, that is actually really great for acne and oily-prone skin, too, and the cannabis sativa seed oil, I've had really great results using it. And then I've got two other oils that I want to mention both from Indeed Labs. I could not choose. Indeed Labs is a Canadian brand. I think they're like not, um, they're like a really, really great price. They go on sale all the time. The ingredients are great. The brand is really good. Um, so this is the Squalene Facial Oil. I would recommend this to anybody, any skin type. I think it is so good. As you can see, it's almost gone. But more recently, they came out with the Clarify Facial Oil. This, if you have oily skin, I promise you, it barely even feels like an oil. It has salicylic acid in here. It absorbs into the skin really, really well. And um, I think it's a fabulous oil. There's not a lot of oils out there that are marketed towards oily and acne prone skin, especially at the drugstore. And I think that both of these oils are so high quality. They're amazing. And I freaking love Indie Labs. So that is everything. I think I went through this kind of quickly, but people tell me I talk too much. But then if I go through things quickly, people tell me I'm rushing and talking too fast. So I don't know. Here we are. I hope you found that helpful. I will have more links down below of other videos and more products to test out. But if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!